Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn SP with Mahesh. Today we'll see how App Engine Flexible can use Shared VPC network. So we already have the Shared VPC network, so which we are doing for a couple of days. So host project is our host project which holds the network and uh, we will try to use one of the service project. Maybe today we will use service project B to host a App Engine Flexible instance. Before we do proceed further, there are a few guidelines which you need to follow. The first and the foremost thing is you need to enable a firewall rule so that the App Engine Flexible can be accessible. So for that, you need to configure this firewall rule with these source IPs and these ports mentioned. So if I just go here to the firewall rule, I have already configured it. So this is in shared VPC network. I have added the target, I have added the source IP address range and the ports. So that's the first important thing. Once you are done with that, the next important thing is you need to give few uh, like couple of uh, service accounts to which you need to give access, primarily network user access. You need to grant network user access. So if I just scroll down here, you will see you need to give them network user access. What are those services? So to get those services, you need to go to your service project B. So that is the project which we are planning to do use. So make sure you enable App Engine there. So enabling the App Engine should be very straightforward. So since I've already enabled in service project B, let me just switch to service project A to show you how to do that for people who don't know how to do that. So just click on create app create application and you should be able to choose the region so you can select Mumbai because we have a subnet in Mumbai click app and that should create you the app engine related stuffs once you are done with that you will have few services service accounts added into your cloud IAM something like this that's what it will show and the most two important service accounts which you need to add is this one the first one is App Engine Flexible Environment Service Agent. This is one. Then Compute Engine Service Agent. So this is the two things which you need to add. So if you just see the documentation, they would have mentioned it very clearly. Um, if you just go up, you see Cloud Services. So this is the first one. So if you go, I guess I made a mistake. If I just search, okay, it's not this one. It has to be this one, Google APIs service agent. So this is one service account and there's another service account which is primarily for App Engine flexible environment service agent. Use these user IDs or service accounts and in the host project, go to your host project and give them network user role so just add them go to compute and a compute give them network user role click save similarly copy this one which is app engine flexible environment service agent and go to your host project do the same stuff save it so that is the second important thing so if we just go back to the tutorial so firewall rule is configured then we have added two users Google API service agent and app engine flexible environment service agent and we have given them network user role that's good and the last important thing is in your YAML file you should make sure that you add the network details. We are planning to use Mumbai subnet, so you need to mention those details. So if you just go to your Cloud Shell environment, let's try to launch the Cloud Shell environment. If you open the Cloud Shell environment and in the app.yaml file, you need to add these two lines, the network details. By default in App Engine Flexible, if you don't add anything, the network would be default and default. 
the, the network name would be default and the subnet name would also be default. But since in service project B, we don't have any network, you need to make sure you add these two lines. And here, if you see, it is projects slash your host projects project ID. And what is the VPC? So if you just come here, the VPC name is shared VPC, shared hyphen VPC network. That is the one. And the subnet is subnet hyphen. Mumbai so that's something which you need to mention and and what would be your server your configuration uh, what you want to host you can just mention that details then that should be all good so if you just go back to the tutorial if you see those are the important stuffs once you are done you should be able to run this command so let's run this command gcloud app deploy and let me just uh, put a version. So let me call it as app flexible hyphen shared VPC. And I want it to be in a quiet mode. So good. So let's try to run it. And once it is successfully done, you should be able to access it easily. So let me pause the video. The deployment is going on. So we may need to wait for a few more minutes. All right, uh, so the app has been deployed. Now let's get the URL of that by just doing gcloud app browse and you should get the URL. Then the URL will be usually in the format of project ID dot .com. Let me click on it. And once everything is good, you should see an output like this app engine flexible environment on shared VPC in action. So which indicates our app has been successfully deployed on an app engine flexible with shared VPC. And if you want to double check that, what I would say is go to this versions option and you should see the version which we just deployed app hyphen flex hyphen shared VPC and under config, you can just click on view config and which will show you the exact app.yaml file which you had configured where you show the network details and it also indicates it's a flexible environment. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. So hope the video is helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.